Did you hear that vice, former vice president at Sikovok says if he becomes president in 2019, he won't come in second time? I don't believe him. I, I don't believe in politicians. That's what he will say. Instead, I, go, I can't go for that place. I'll go one time. I'll go, I'll go finish my 88. Using extra day. I'll go find extra. Got to play the sweet though. If possible, they will go 10 times. <laughs>The drama in Nigeria's politics, as we all know, will not cease, especially at this period. Okay, so from now to February 2019, we are bound to hear different reports, different different speeches by different top politicians in Nigeria. Okay, so one of those speeches that interest us at this point is that of uh, former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar, saying if you vote for him to become president in 2019, he won't spend more than a term in office, which means he will stay just four years and then he will relinquish the post for someone else to take over. Okay, so that's what we want to ask Nigerians on the streets today. We want to ask them, do you think this is true? Do you believe what he has said? Do you think when he gets there, he won't spend more than a term? My name is Dam Larry Kola. I am watching Street Gist on Nidocom TV. I don't agree. Why? Why don't you agree? <laughs> you know the politics of Nigeria nowadays. Uh, you know the type of article, the type of person Atiku is. What kind of person is Atiku? <laughs> don't put words into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, I'm an elderly man. Okay. At my age, hey, this public something. It's a nice man to some people and some to other people. It is another side. You know, this life, this life we are, that is life for you. Some people will like you, while some people will hate you. It depends on the people you associate yourself with. So, All right, Do you think there's any Nigerian politician that can do one term in office? Is it possible? It's not possible. Because of the situation we, in the country we find ourselves. It's not possible. They would, they would like to come back again. They would like to come back again. Like you now, if you become a politician, you do two, three, four things. Like. I'm also a politician, but I'm a practicing politician. I practice politics, but I'm a politician, but not, not to go in an elected, elective post. Only one time. One time like this. It's not possible. Nobody will enter there would like to spend one time. They would not like to spend their eight years and find an extra year. It's not possible. He said he want to use one time and go out. It's not possible. He said, no, it's inside the church mind. It's inside the good mind. He knows he's in the talk. He can't, nobody enter that place and say we spend only one time. That one time, one year. Four years. Four years. Wait. No, no, it's not possible. It's not possible. Even me, self, if I enter there, I'll finish the four, find another four. After that four, you find that one? Uh -huh, try, that one, I try a lot. Huh? But the eight years, everybody want to finish it. Ah. Nobody would like to use only one year now. I want them and go out. It's not possible. Not only my brother, good luck. Now, because of me, Nigeria, good, though, I make them go down. The same class as, as a result of uh, unavailable un um, resources. What do you expect? What will he say? They will do anything to win. But when they are there, they will do anything to also win. So that's how they do. They have the money to spend to spend on poor youths who really don't have jobs. Give them 5,000 naira. What was I? Take my PVC and... Go on, look at the present uh, this thing. Um, I've got um, Yara Dua used about 84 billion for election. Jonathan used about uh, about 80 something thousand million too. This one I used about 248 billion. I mean, what's the population of Nigeria? We are just 242 billion. It's not possible, they are all greedy. They are all greedy? They are greedy of power. Why? How? Once again, they won't want to step down for the youth to take over. I didn't want any of those old politicians to take over. I want to use. Who's the youth that I want to take over? Any youth, anybody, neutral body, shouldn't have a godfather. You shouldn't have a godfather? Yeah. What if they ask you to come and become the president as a youth? I don't think a woman can lead this country. Uh -huh. In any part of this world, Nigeria as a woman can never lead. Why? Why do you think so? That is the mentality we have. We are so daft. We are daft? Very, very daft. When it comes to, uh, in terms of leadership, don't believe that a woman can do anything. Wow. And the women that have led in the past, why did they succeed? The men. The women. Eh, because we are born to rule now, but men believe that because we are taking us from the Arabs, so we can't do anything without them. But anything, any organization without a woman, that organization can never stand. It will not even enter. It won't. I know. Why? Why do you think so? Why do I think so? Why did Obasanjo push him out when he was in the 
first president then. Why? I don't know. You should know now. No, I don't know. No, you should know. You are the one telling me. No, so I need... no, no, you should know. You are the interviewer. You know everything more than me. No, I don't. You know more than I do. You should know. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so but if he becomes president, do you think he will do one term as he has become gone? president? That's what I know. These people are whole. What are they looking for? What are they looking for? We need youth. This time around, youth. No. No. Why? Uh, like, uh, it's, a normal, it's a norm in Nigeria. It's the way it rolls. They don't, after, after being in the office, they so much enjoy the office of power. And they don't want to leave. And they want to even do third, fourth time? If possible, they will go ten times. <laughs> There's not one of them who have said that and they're kept to their word. Not a single one. Can't he change the rhetoric if, like, if he comes back? If he comes, can't he change it? Maybe. Uh, it's not that kind of person. Not article, not politician. Who can sing that and keep to his word then? Maybe you? No, I think if I have to take among the politicians, I'll take Buhari. So you think President Buhari will not come for a second term in office? As in second term, I mean, no, he has a chance to come now. Second term, he has a chance to come. So I mean, you are talking about someone that can stand by his integrity. That's Buhari for me, among the politicians. Why do you think so? Why? It's antecedent. You have known him for that, not just for now. When he was the military, we know what he stood for. And now he's the only, um, what do you call him, I'm on the point that I think has the integrity. That's for me. Integrity, you can't put anybody beside him. So Nigerians have spoken. And, um, and then what? Well, you have watched and you have heard too what Nigerians had to say about the vice president's ambition. And of course, his promise towards uh, the post is gunning for. Well, many people said they don't believe. Well, do I even have to say what they said? Big shout out to Tengoko Bola and of course Manu. So did the people behind the camera for bringing you this broadcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. My name is Dan Blairo Konla. We're asking you this question. Is there a Nigerian politician who will spend just a term in office? Find out. Ask yourself. Answer. See ya.